work positioning um, and work both systems at the same time. And have okay, them. so we, this is the removal behind me. Where is the tree? Right there. It's uprooted. You can see how heavy that lean is. It's not laying on anything. So I'm gonna be tied into the neighboring tree. It's a very, very small maple. Um, and then just limb this up and to prevent this thing, I, I doubt it would, but you know, sometimes when you take a lot of weight off, these things like to stand back up. I really don't think this one would do it. I don't think this is that situation. But what I'll do is I'll put a line um, I'll tie it midway and tie it into the small maple behind it. It's like all these other surrounding trees are very small So we'll see what happens but, And then here we have this other removal Whoa, We're like skating right now No joke. I felt like probably ten times. Oh, I'm going I'm going um, And then we have this maple. I'm gonna fell it from here um, We have the house to the left um, We've got more weight going towards the house um, but it, but you know, I'm confident we're, we're it's not going to go that way. We have it tied up. I'm going to get some wedges and, and then this thing runs all the way back to a ring to ring. Or not a ring and ring, just a ring. Um, it's an all gear half inch ring. I'm just using a half inch line. It's redirected there. We're going to pull it with the Avant and that's going to be... Yeah, that's gonna be the first step, first step and then we'll get up this thing. Hopefully this breaks a bunch of this ice. Let's go. Very cool stuff that gets the that gets your heart rate going. Check out the hinge. Not too bad. Now we've got a uh, uh, a lot of bucking and pulling to do. Let's get to it. <laughs> 
We got 46 percent we just bodied that tree now i'm gonna cut some lines in here and, and do this tree I'm gonna have some fun i'm pretty it's been a lot of fun hanger there snag widow maker whatever yeah let's do this thank you all right so we just set up a little double rope system here moving rope um emergency line here just in case if i need a bail out um, you can see how far we are from the trunk. Um, I'm going to do some speed lining because we have a shed here and we're going to chip up what we can. But we just have bamboo and pretty much a decent drop zone here. Um, so yeah, just, just to be safe. Um, I haven't climbed in a while because it's the winter. But, uh, we're going to 
you know, go with the flow and, and be safe. So, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys up here and we're gonna get, we're gonna get to wheeling and deal. Um, mira, voy a hacer un flush cut en esta rama grande para elevar el, 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 el peso. Ese de, de unos lo voy a cortar. Ok, luego corto este. Y estos lo, se van a hacer con el speed line. Yeah. Que esos no tienen buena posición para hacer un free cut. Todos juntos, todos separados. Oh man. No, pero te digo, la próxima vez um, a poner lo más que puedes en una carabina. You know? Es más rápido, you know what I mean? Shit, now you know, tenemos que quitar todos. Uh, Alright. No creo que voy a usar todos estos. Entonces, ahí te va con estos. Here you go. Perdamos estos for right now. Oh, shit. Stand clear, we're going to cut this free cut. How are you going to do this? Do you think it's going to be molested? If I do it with the free cut, yeah? No. Stand clear.
gastamos un chingo de peso. Things are getting safer. Which is always good news. Go for this one next. This one's long. Este está, este tiene, está alto. Entonces, you know, le pones tensión y, y, y que lo que, que se quede tenso, porque la, la, la punta tal vez va a pegar en shed, you know. Y no queremos esto. No good. Se mueve mucho. Oh, no. <laughs> that was nice. That was very nice. Woo! Okay. Voy a hacer un free cut aquí. Este, este pedazo acá atrás lo voy a tirar en este hoyo que está aquí. Um, yeah, yo no lo voy a usar. El, estos dos pedazos son uh, free cut. Cut this piece here. This piece will just take a look. That's it for that video or for that job. 
um, my GoPro died and I wanted to get out of there. I didn't want to go charge the GoPro and then record the felling part of the of that leaning spar. Um, just for those who are curious, I did an open face notch. Um, I bored the heart out and um, and then I bored the entire tree with a I left a back strap and and cut. Um, cut that back strap like a inch underneath it and it you know it popped right off um, if you're not familiar with what kind of cut that is I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on on, on the interwebs um, just look up how to how to fell a tree bore cutting or something like that the technique is, is referred to as bore cutting but uh, yeah I didn't record that whatever um, you know I hope you guys like that um, constructive criticism is welcome um, I haven't done tree work. I haven't been in trees in about two weeks. I'm also under. I'm also a little bit sick, uh, so um, you know, <laughs> it, it, I was real rusty. But I'm very, very grateful to be out there uh, today. Especially, it's the winter time. You guys know how it goes in the winter time. Everything is. Everything kind of just slows down. So I'm very grateful. Very fortunate to be, do, to be doing what I love. Um, that's my girl calling me. So I got a skedaddle.